Hello, it's Aga from our Artist. It's summer here and the weather is really hot. Unfortunately, we don't have too much time to go for a swim. So I figure out I will make swimming pool in 3D. Today I will show you how to create a super realistic water like this. We'll add the caustic effects to achieve this level. Here is the image without the caustics. No comparison. Ok, I think we're ready to start. Here is the scene we're going to use. Lighting and materials are already set up except for the water. Let's start with the water object. It's a simple plane right now, we'll have to modify it a bit. First, we need to subdivide it, so the mesh is really dense. Use the subdivide modifier and decrease the size. Be careful and don't use too small size, because it will crush your 3ds Max. Collapse it and convert to editable poly. When it's done, let's add the displace modifier. We need a map to make it work. I will use a noise map. I will plug it into the diffuse slot first to adjust it. Start interactive rendering and see how it looks. For sure, we have to decrease the size. Let's try 200. Maybe a bit less. Play around with high and low values to make it more contrasty. I will change it to fractal, I think it will look better. Lastly, let's increase levels. When you are more or less happy with the result, Unplug it from the diffuse slot and add it to the displace modifiers map slot. To make it work, we have to increase the strength value. Fifty is way too much. Let's try 10. Much better. Now, let's work on water material. Start by adding reflection and refraction. Change the diffuse color to black, as water has no color. To add a color, set up absorption color in the volumetrix and SSS tab. Then, adjust the distance value to control how intense the color is. Two thousand millimeters looks good in my scene. I will increase levels in my noise map a bit more.
Now the best part, caustics. Go to the refraction panel in the materials properties and turn on caustics. It doesn't look good yet. We need to do one more thing. Go to the render settings, performance and enable caustics. Start interactive rendering again. Now it looks awesome! To control the effect, all you need to do is to change the size of the noise map. Let me show you. Here is how it looks with the larger value. And here is how it looks with a smaller value. Around 200 looks best in my case. Let me show you what a difference it makes. No comparison and it renders very fast. I will show you one more thing. If you have issues and your acoustics are not visible, make sure this option is enabled in your light. It should be on by default though. That's it! I hope you guys have more time to enjoy summer or winter if you are from another side of globe. Anyway, if you want to learn the whole process of creating visualizations, I'd like to invite you to check out our visualization course where we teach you step by step how to create outstanding images. Click here to check it out on our website. Bye-bye!